Hello, in this demonstration you will see how you can use Copilot in a different way. So, you may have seen already that you can use Copilot with a chat window. So, I'm selecting the source code and going to select the chat, so GitHub chat, and I will ask Copilot uh, to suggest some code. For example, I can use a fix command to ask Copilot to analyze and propose a fix to my code that I have selected. In this case, it's a risk of SQL injections, as you can see, and it's providing automatically a fix that I can apply. Or I can continue to interact with Copilot to adding or asking for more information. For example, using the selected code, add a try catch block. So using the same interactivity, Copilot will suggest some code and make some comments about the context. And I can apply the code. But you also have a different way to interact with Copilot directly in the editor. So for this, I will start by showing the command palette. And for this, you just have to press Shift Command P on Mac, and you see you have interactive editor uh, to start a session with Copilot, or you can use Command K I. So let's go back to the editor, select the code, and I will press Command K then I to show the Copilot input form. And you see here I have a small form where I can add some information, for example, to fix, same as the chat window, but in the context of the editor. Copilot will suggest something, and I can use the same Copilot window in this case to, because I don't want these modifications, to cancel the suggestion and do another one. So let's select, and this time I will ask explicitly, for example, Copilot to either try catch block get a suggestion, I can see, and you see you have this small button that can highlight what has been changed by Copilot in my code. And I can continue to interact with Copilot without closing, without clicking anything. Like for example, I want to extract the SQL statement as a string, as a variable, and also I want to fix the risk of SQL injection. So I'm interacting with Copilot directly in the editor to modify existing code. So let's wait, take this suggestion, you can look what has been changed, removed or added by Copilot, and I just have to add or accept these modifications by clicking tab. See the change, and then move away from the Copilot form. So in this way, you have seen how you can interact easily with Copilot directly in the editor. Thanks for watching.